So it seems that an American's next top model individual who goes by the name of Lisa D'Amato has come forward and exposed Tyra Banks and is not pleased with her. Now, she isn't the first one to come forward and I don't think she's going to be the last. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back in again, guys, with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. As soon as I film, my battery now wants to be going low. Subscribe, click that button, and let's get straight into this video, guys, without wasting any time. This message is for Tyra Banks. Um, remember me? Hi, Lisa. How do you sleep at night? You know, I never knew if you were innocent or guilty. I always just pinned Ken Mock. But I have to be honest with you. So we have an, an America's Next Top Model winner, Lisa D'Amato, who calls out her as Tara Banks for exploiting her childhood traumas, guys. And she is not letting go or letting her off the hook at all. Lisa has put Tara Banks on blast for exploiting her childhood traumas for profit on reality TV. The American Next Top Model All-Star winner took to Instagram Friday calling out the supermodel host in a video confessional set to Lily Allen's 2009 hit FU. She revealed that she risked breach of contract by appearing on an episode of E! True Hollywood Story where she discussed the alleged mistreatment she faced on the show. Interesting. The 40 year old got choked up as she explained, I did it knowing that it was a breach of contract still. Um, because I felt like it was my duty to warn other girls that we were going to audition for America's Next Top Model to know what you guys were in for. And by the way that you guys would poke at me and use my childhood traumas against me day in and day out, it was just so effed up and it broke my heart. Like how could you do that? She continued, I don't know how you sleep at night. You, Tyra, you, you knew very well the horrible trauma that my mom inflicted upon me. And he also talks so much about how you wouldn't be where you are without your mother and how powerful she is in your life. So knowing that you still did that to me and continue to do it to other girls after I spoke publicly about it. She's not letting her off the hook at all. She seems to be very upset. In addition to calling out Banks 47, she took aim at the show's co-creator. You know, I never knew if you were innocent or guilty. I always just pinned Ken Mock. Remember when I had an opportunity to ask you one question in season five? And a modeling question. And I came in and I asked you a question that wasn't about modeling and you kicked me out. Demato, who first appeared in Cycle 5, also included footage from fellow um, contestants um, Gina Turner and Angelia Preston, um, detailing their own traumatic experiences on the show. She later addressed the, um, the ugly actress in another statement on Instagram, the Coyote ugly actress. Um, I warned you that I was coming after you not, um, not months ago, but then I found out more information, so now it's, it is you directly. I'm still nicer than you though, because I gave you warning. Come out, come wherever you are. I'm just so effing done. So many girls are so effing done and voiceless. I had to do it and stand up for all of us, she said. Um, so she seems angry. Um, the native Angelina called for another um, America's Next Top Model Alum to come forward. More girls and boys from, from America's Next Top Model DM me. Um, here's my question. Remember when after season five, they did this whole E! True Hollywood story on America's Next Top Model? And I went on there and I talked about production which is contractually a, a breach of contract and it's about five million dollars that I could get sued for but I still did it. I did it knowing that it was a breach of contract still because I felt like it was my duty to warn other girls that were going to audition for America's Next Top Model to know that what you guys do and the way that you guys would poke me. On the train and no effing lies though, come at me with lies and I'll expose you too. Only truth tellers. Now's the time, no do of us. I worked hard for this. She also gave Banks a chance to come forward and says it's so crazy. Found out some new information in quarantine about other girls and I was like, oh hell no. Done with this BS. Help me help you. Tara, let's do a one on one. We can, buy, we can be like your Naomi and Tara interview, except it's worse than you're the villain. I dare you. Banks has faced backlash over the years from past contestants and fans alike. Most recently, last May, when a clip resurfaced of her telling Cycle 6 winner Danny Evans she would never be a cover girl with a gap in her two front teeth. She addressed the moments on Twitter, been seeing the posts about the insens insensitivity of some past um, America's Next Top Model movements, and I agree with you, looking back, those were some really off choices. Quarantine, and I mean, everybody's throwing you under the bus these days. All these girls have been speaking out. Like, how could you do that? So, to me, the odds were still worth it if I got sued. 
I don't know how you sleep at night because um, you guys know you, Tyra. You knew very well the horrible trauma that my mom inflicted on me. And you also talk so much about how much you wouldn't be where you are without your mother and how powerful she is. So knowing that you still did that to me and then continued to do it to other girls even after I spoke publicly about it. Appreciate your honest feedback and I'm sending you so much love and virtual hugs. So, you know, this is another model that's come forward. Is this gonna start another train wreck of more models coming forward? And maybe I'll do a compilation of America's Next Up Models moments, because I feel like, you know, it's just a lot that happened. This has already, you know, been resurfaced because of prior models and this might happen again. Who knows? Or maybe this will be seen as old news. Maybe Lisa's doing it for clout, for her own kind of benefit. You never really know with people on allegations. You just never really know. Um, not that I'm saying that there's no substance in this. There definitely is. She's a cycle winner, but you have to look at it from all different possibilities. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to all of this. What are your thoughts? Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It's just one button. Click that button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.